All right, welcome back. We are here with chapter 17, Cataclysm, Escape the Great Time Quake. Our heroes follow the Professor's shadow to the Xeno Domain, where they finally learn the truth of Professor Kronos and his family. While they are there, something happens that rips a large hole in the corridor of time layers. They try to enter the corridor in hopes of reversing the time layer distortion and preventing a massive time quake. <gasps> Gasp. The matter transmission engine is operational. We can tr transport you at any time. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Very well. Begin the transmission process. Run it at maximum power. Transmission initiated. Max power authorized. Opening gate. Coordinate margin of error below 0.0001%. Transmission beam stable. All systems clear. Everything is working as it should. Step through when you're ready. This will take us inside the corridor of time layers, huh? Thanks for all your help, Administrator. We'll get going now. Wait. Hmm? Sir Administrator, is there a problem? Aren't you afraid? Afraid? Of what? Of leaping into an unknown void, of course. Who knows what could happen in there? Could be unstable, and will most definitely be hostile. Doesn't that bother any of you? I'd be lying if I said it didn't. The way deep down I am scared. Who wouldn't be? But I don't have the time to stand around quaking in my boots. If we don't act now, the whole world is done for. Besides, we're not going it alone. We have each other. Hmm. Suppose you're right. Go. I'll be praying for your success. <laughs> Thanks. Just wait. We'll be back. Oh, dang. This music got tense. Transmitting subject to corridor of time layers. Dude, I love this. The fate of the universe is in your hands. Here we go. Oh, did we lose the cool music? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I'm down. This is the corridor of time layers, huh? Atmospheric composition, gravity, and temperature are all comparable to that on Earth. Oh, they're on Earth. Hmm. Interesting. That's one less thing to worry about, but we still don't know what could be lurking in here. True. We should keep our guard up. <laughs> Purely so I can click him faster when I'm swapping out. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Boop. Okay. Alright. Guess I'm going on the little teleportal. Teleporter? Porter? Portal? What did I say? Did I say teleportal? I like that one better. It's almost dinner time. I'm guessing that was Nagi. Alright, 
Oh, nice. It is, the king's duty to lead the way. is that Claude? It's gotta be Claude, I guess. Unless Suzette's got a real deep voice. Oh, wait. I could click on that thing. Go back, go back, go back. There's a recess that looks like something should fit there. Oh. Uh, okay. Did I miss something already? The sea will punish you. Why are these things resistant to everything? Holy butts. Uh oh, here it is. Slash? Equip characters damage. All right, well, let's see what that does. I feel like we went a little overboard on the damage there. All right, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. A clear crystal is floating there. Take the crystal. You got a red crystal. There's a recess that looks like something should fit here. Use the crystal? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Apparently the crystal made that appear, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it before. But, you know, that's fine. There are a lot of phantoms here, huh? These phantoms are all about screwing with time. A nanocube. Fancy. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Oh, I guess it's a good thing I... Chest, oh. chest! Requiem powder. Do I want to go there yet? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see what happens. Oh, is this the one I already went through? Just took me back this way. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I did already go through it, but it was like the first one I went through, huh? Okay. Oh, this place is going to be all kinds of fun. I can already tell. Plus a nice... Solid encounter rate. Return to the sea. Sorry. Well, there's another blue crystal. Or a blue crystal, I guess. I had a red one last time. that blue crystal. Alright, back this way. Does it change where the teleporter goes? Is that what it's changing? Like, this isn't the same place I went to last time? 
which would make sense why I see those cubes there after I switch it. I thought maybe it just made the cube appear, but it might actually just be changing where I'm teleporting to. That would make more sense, I think. Yeah, let's search through all here. Okay, so I've been all back there. Yep, yeah, disconnected that area. There's a treasure chest up to the left that I want. Give me that treasure. Oh. <laughs> so cocky. Okay, so there's a teleporter back down here with a crystal thing right outside of it. <laughs> Nagi. I've got to get her a weapon. Holy cow, she's still using that friggin' Famitsu axe. That's what happens when I get so grossly overpowered because of the experience dungeon that I don't really like worry about my characters. <laughs> okay. So this whole bit's connected now treasure chest. You've got my attention. It is almost dinner time. Nagi loved that food. It's like we're doing... Well, I'm not going to give spoilers for the Ocean Palace. You know I'm done with it. I guess it'll be posted before this video, but... Somebody's watching this before my Ocean Palace. I'm just going to stay with the main story quest for this. We'll talk about the Ocean Palace in the Ocean Palace videos. Tony Chimadises. Yikes. Sorry, I just like punched my microphone three times. I like the, like, background of this and everything. Holy cow. This is such an amazing game for so many freaking reasons. Is this it? Oh, dang. Major trial time. That wasn't a very tough dungeon. I mean, not enemy-wise, because I expect that I was going to stomp through it because I've drastically overleveled, but... What the... It looks like several different worlds layered on top of one another. Antiquity, present, and future. The time periods are resonating with each other and phasing together. This would appear to be a characteristic unique to this location. I conjecture. No oh, dang, conjecture later, girl. We've got bigger things to worry about. Violent gravitational waves detected. This is a temporal distortion given physical form. This is what Xenoprisma created? In other words, if we beat this thing, we stop the time quakes? That's some science I can get behind. Let's do this. Yeah. Don't don't make Aldo think about crap. You just say, punch that thing, Aldo, and he's like, I'm in. He ain't about that fighting things life. Okay, what do we got here? Any weaknesses? Okay, we'll just do that. Do you have any weaknesses for him? Uh, I like that. I don't think you have... Oh, you do have... Whatever, you're swapping out for Joker. The time later started to store. Origin time, 980. Wow, that text went really fast. Gatling gun. Let's 
Time layer starts to origin time. 300 AD. Are we just like slowly sending this thing back through time? Origin time, 180. It seems as though that may be the case. We're definitely going backwards through time. Every time it gets hit, it seems like. Am I like really loud all of a sudden? Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. I'm trying to adjust my, my volume here. Okay, let's just do this. Hundred and thirty four K. That's not too bad. I've done better, I've done worse. I don't know if I've broken two hundred K yet. Really, because nothing puts up enough of a fight for me to have to wait to get a whole AF bar. I'll get there. <laughs> we did it. The distortion has disappeared. This means the world is safe. Right? Right? Sure, although that's the way things happen. Do not be so naive. Phantom. What is the meaning of this? The end of the world has already begun. What? Huh? What was that? Are these the time quakes? Uh oh. Uh oh. That can't be good. Hey, hey. You leave that island alone. This does not look good. My brethren have begun to flow from the corridor of time layers. As we speak, they are getting ready to push an entire floating continent into it. That's crazy. Why would you do that? The force generated by the impact will result in a shock equal to that of the time quake. Now you will see the futility of your efforts. Sit back and watch. It will be quite the spectacle. No. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Shockwaves are spreading throughout the corridor. They are colliding with the time quake energy. Once these combined disasters echo as far as antiquity, they will surely tear time and space apart. Uh oh. Warning. Shockwaves influence to antiquity confirmed. No suggestions available. Uh oh. Uh oh. Salamander, you and the other elementals dare to interfere. Child of man, we entrust the future to you. Uh, I only met the one elemental, right? <laughs> they just like... <laughs> Essentially, like, punched the continent back through the time corridor? <laughs> they sacrificed themselves to push back the wave? Inconceivable. I do not think that word means what you think it means. We are not safe yet. The backdraft from the time quake is rushing toward the future. Yeah, so is the freaking continent. Everybody, please hurry. The corridor of time layers is closing. Aldo, come on. Arg. We're so close. Get yourselves out of here. like shadow are we gonna have to wait to the end like run to the end of it and wait for him to show up at the last night oh shit then the world was dis was shaken by an enormous time quake oh 
Oh, the death and destruction is so pretty. The fragments of the four great elemental spirits scattered and fell around the world over the next few days. They encircled the planet like a million shooting stars. What is that? Oh, well, that can't be good. Space time has reached its limit. The flow of time is deteriorating. Do you see that? The dimensional vortex is a pit of infinite chaos. May it swallow up this entire pathetic universe. Dude, you got a lot of anger in you. Why? Who hurt you, buddy? Five days later. After all that, we still weren't able to prevent the quake. The damage would have been even worse if it weren't for the elementals. They saved us all. What was the point of everything we did? None of it accomplished a thing. If only we'd been stronger. Do not despair, Aldo. You still have a chance to turn things around. You're from the Gallery of Dreams. What are you doing here? The time quake may have come to pass, but damage was kept to a minimum. You should take pride in that, at least. That just leaves us with the problem of that dimensional vortex. If nothing changes, make no mistake. The world will be consumed by it. Your role in the, these events is not over yet. Have you forgotten what Professor Kronos told you? You, Cecile, and the Geo Prisma are this world's final hope. I don't even know where or when I am right now. I'm all on my own. What can I possibly do? I mean, given that there are these huge structures out in the water, my guy, I'm gonna guess you are in the future right now. I disagree. You're not alone. You are never alone. You all will be this world's saviors. You must believe in the possibilities you share with your allies. They may just contain the potential to change tomorrow. So do not give in yet. Now go. The world awaits you. Okay. You will be unable to switch between maps or arrange your party for a while. Yo, you couldn't have told him. Oh, that's the end of chapter 17, I guess. So, there it is. Uh, the time quake happened. We stopped most... Well, we didn't stop most of the damage. We just kind of got in the way long enough for the elementals to do it, I guess. Salamander and the others that I never met. So, anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you next episode. Take care.